Sometimes we wonder how come our pasta in our own kitchen doesn't taste as good as it does in our restaurants. Well, there's five tips that chefs know. Stay with me. I'll share those tips with you today on Richard in the Kitchen. Tip number one, five to six quarts of water per one pound of pasta. Make sure you choose a pot big enough to hold that much water. You want your pasta to swim around freely in that pot. If you use a pot that's too small, your pasta is just going to clump and stick together. Tip number two, always bring the water to a rolling boil before adding your salt. If you add salt to a pot of water that's not boiling, it's going to drop to the bottom and it's not going to season your water and it's not going to season your pasta. Tip number three, two to two and a half tablespoons of kosher or sea salt per one pound of pasta. If you use table salt, reduce this by half. But guys, don't be afraid of salt. It is the key to great tasting pasta. It's the only chance you get to season your pasta. Cook your pasta one to one and a half minutes less than package directions. We want our pasta to be al dente, and what happens is after you drain your pasta, it's going to continue to cook, especially after you marry it with the sauce in that hot pan. So always cook it less than what the package tells you to. Tip number five, before draining that pasta, reserve one cup of that starchy cooking water. This is absolutely key, guys. When you pour this in your spaghetti and your sauce, that's what marries that together. So pull that out before you drain your pasta. Drain your pasta, but never rinse the pasta. Then marry the pasta to the hot pan of sauce, not the other way around. Put in that one cup of starchy cooking water, any other ingredients that you're going to use, and give it a good toss. Guys, if you follow these tips, I guarantee you, you'll have a better tasting pasta dish. Thanks so much for stopping in. I do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, guys, bye-bye, y'all.